Guys, what's up? I'm Jamo, and I'm back, ready to do part two of celebrating Black History Month. So without a further ado, let's get started. So the second person uh, that, a uh, second, you know, influential, inspirational black leader I'm going to talk about today is Mr. West. Mr. West in the building. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Kanye West, um, which actually, his, his full name is Kanye Omari West. Okay. Kanye Omari West. And he was born in Atlanta, raised in Chicago. And I mean, I mean, there's not, there's, there's so much to say that there's really not much, <laughs> not much to say. But yeah, but Kanye West, he's, um, I th he's, you know, music wizard, producer, rapper, um, you know, beats extraordinaire. Uh, he's moved on from that, from making just from making raps to doing uh, kind of uh, you know, fashion, he has his own fashion design label, he has his own shoes, you know, the Yeezys and everything. So he's a big time box office, you know, all that good stuff. And uh, for me personally, when you're talking about the music, I think my favorite album of his, because I think he has, I'm not, this is, don't, don't fact check me. I think he has like six or seven albums uh, in, in totality. Uh, but my favorite is uh, Dark Twisted Fantasy, my Dark Twisted Fantasy. That, that one was, you know, mm, mm, mm. I'm telling you, when a heartbreak, I would, that breakup from Amber Rose that that led to that album, and and you know I, I hate to see a breakup, but that 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 was worth it because <laughs> that album was fire, woo, just flames, fire. <laughs> no, but yeah, but it was cool. It was it was really good. And uh, when you talk about Mr. West, obviously he's super successful, extremely talented, controversial as well. We can't, uh, you know, the moment with uh, Taylor Swift, he gets on the stage. He's gotten on the stage a couple of times, actually. And recent, most recently, the fact that he's starting to wear MAGA hat or he wore MAGA hats. I think he, he's saying that he's never going to do that again, but I, I don't know. Who knows? But yeah, but, you know, he's a controversial guy, controversial figure. But anyways, but what I think, um, what makes him so inspiring, at least the person, the, my friend who told me, you know why he was inspired by him he said that there's he has a in his he has a mindset of an absence of reality this is what my friend said the absence of reality and you know to me in my mind to me this, that's a couple things and i think some people see him differently to me he's very he has a great imagination so things that you know that people see as impossible like people when people said you know he's just a producer you know but he imagined himself being able to to rap so and he did rap, and he you know obviously he's a successful rapper, um, and also with the imagination, kind of that fantasy, just the the he has a extreme just the creativity, but also we're talking about the absence of the absence of reality. People could also say that's kind of in a, in one word you could say crazy because he is kind of crazy. <laughs> I don't know if you, I don't know if you've heard his rants or anything like that, but yeah, he's a kind of a crazy guy, a little bit. But anyways, but that's kind of, but at the same time that craziness and that that bravado is kind of what makes him inspiring, I think, to a lot of people and to my friend that I asked um, about that. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has uh, been part two of Celebrating Black History Month on YouTube, on my channel. If you guys liked it, please um, please press the like button. If you have any comments, please feel free to write below. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comment section, guys. Thank you so much. I hope you stay tuned for, the, uh, for part three and uh, have a good day.